Pierre Polyev is trending on Twitter today, but not for the reason that you may expect. Hashtag never Polyev is trending on Twitter. And I myself have asked a question to my followers on Twitter. Can Polyev be trusted? And it's very, it's a very 50-50 split in the replies. Um, a lot of people say that Polyev cannot be trusted. So we're going to take a look at some of these tweets under the hashtag never Polyev and kind of discuss if Pierre Polyev is actually a good option for the next prime minister of Canada. So here's a tweet here it says makeover or done over. Are we all sick of this guy lying to us every day, blaming others who hasn't done anything for Canadian families in 20 years. I'm done. Hashtag never Polyev. So a lot of angry tweets under hashtag never Polyev. I think this is coming mainly from liberals, but also a lot of conservatives saying that Pierre Polyev isn't a real conservative and stuff like this. And here's what I have to say. Here's my personal opinion. Yeah, Pierre Polyev may not be perfect. He may not be the best. Um, obviously, there's a lot of stuff that he could be doing a lot better. But what other option really is there? Okay, obviously, the PPC, the People's Party is not an option because they don't have they don't have the numbers. They just don't. Um, obviously, Justin Trudeau is not an option. So who is an option besides Pierre, Pierre Polyev? I see all these conservatives saying, you know, not to vote for Pierre, that they don't trust Pierre. And my question to them is, who else is there? Like, really, I guess it's kind of like a less of the two evil situation. But the worst case scenario is people end up boycotting Pierre Polyev. And then as a result of that, Justin Trudeau gets reelected because of like a vote split or something like that. It seems like a lot of people are starting to turn on a Pierre. Yeah, over 3000 tweets under this hashtag never Polyev. Um, let's see here. As a Canadian citizen, I've watched Canadian politics for over 60 years. It's the first time I've viewed any Canadian politician with actual fear. He is dangerously unfit for public office. Um, I don't know, folks. Again, this is mostly liberals tweeting under this hashtag, but I also see a lot of conservatives tweeting under this hashtag and tweeting against Pierre Polyev. So let me know in the comments, is there really any other options? Is there really, really anybody else who could possibly be the next prime minister of Canada that would actually mean good things to the country? Like Pierre Polyev, in my opinion, is the best option. Um, it's either Pierre Polyev or Trudeau. Like a vote for the PPC, I even asked this on my Twitter, is voting for the PPC a wasted vote? Um, most people say, yeah, it is because they just don't have the numbers. So it's either Polyev or Trudeau. Um, there's really nobody else. If there is, and maybe I'm uninformed, let me know in the comments. But um, yeah, very interesting stuff to see Polyev's base, some of Polyev's base turning against him. Let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comments. I know I get annoying asking people to subscribe to my channel, but unfortunately, that's just how YouTube works. If I want to be able to keep getting the, these messages out and these stories out, I need you guys to subscribe to my channel so I could keep building this platform. Also, if you're watching on Facebook, follow me on Facebook. Uh, follow my page, all that good stuff. Share this out. God bless everybody. Have a great rest of your day. And let me know what you think down below about Pierre Polyev.